Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you about the 2017 Keystone Passport 3350BH. This particular model is in the granite interior. It's a beautiful bunkhouse unit. It's a bath and a half. Really excited to show you. Let's start off right here on the kitchen. So what you'll see is you have a nice big kitchen countertop space, great prep space here. You see all this extra countertop you have right in here. Then they also give you sink top covers so you can utilize this as prep space as well. When we take the sink top covers off, it will reveal our double bowl sink, larger bowl on the left, smaller one on the right, and then the high rise faucet here in order to aid in doing dishes. Now when you have a big countertop like this, it means you have big storage underneath as well. Starting right over here, as soon as you walk in the door, you see two large compartments there. Very easy to get to, great spot to put shoes, flip flops, things like that. And this whole area is one big storage area. You have several access points, you can see that right up top. And then take a look at this, two very long full extension ball bearing drawers. So you have plenty of space for your silverware and all your other serving utensils, like uh, big spoons, spatulas, things like that. And then again, another access point right over here. Also built into the countertop is your three burner Atwood cooktop. The front one there is high output. And then underneath you have an oven if you want to do some baking. Right here on the wall is your window. Big, uh, big window lets in a lot of natural light during the day, which is great. Also gives you a view of your campsite, which is quite nice. LED light here at night, you'll see you actually have LED lights on the ceiling throughout the coach, which are great because they don't put out near the heat, uh, although it would be nice on a cold day like today, but they also use a fraction of the power, which is great, especially if you're boondocking. Uh, speaking of power, right underneath here, you have an electrical outlet, so if you have to plug in a coffee maker, blender, something like that, a uh, great place to do it right there. Above, you have these beautiful uh, doors on here, the raised panel cabinetry, you have the brush nickel pulls. When we open that up, that will reveal our pantry. You'll see you don't have a style here either, which is kind of nice. So if you do have some wider items, you're able to fit them in there. Maybe you have your own organizational racks or something you want to stick in there. You're able to do that right there. Um, microwave right over here, and then fully functional hood with a light and fan. Moving over a little bit, you get into the fridge freezer combo. You'll see you have plenty of space in here, nice cutout there for some taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Now right back here is the half bath. When we open it up, you'll see you have your foot flush lever toilet right there. And then right across from that, you see you have your entryway, so that way the kids can just come right in, use the bathroom and head right back out. Right over here is your sink top and vanity, storage down below. And then up top you have mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. Now as I mentioned, this is a bunk unit. So as we step back into the bunk room here, you will see you have additional storage. I'll open this up for you. I would probably put the kids clothes in here, but if you need additional pantry space, you can certainly use it for that as well. Right up here is a privacy curtain in case you want to close off the back area for some additional privacy. Now as we do step back here, you'll see right over here you have your uh, two cube style sofas. These are pretty cool because they're very versatile. Of course you can leave it just as in this orientation where you have basically a couch on the floor. You can turn these, they're facing into each other if you want. And these both fold out into beds. So you can have two twin beds here, or one big king bed basically. That way if you have um, maybe some adult kids, some older kids that wanna come and stay with you, these beds are big enough they can sleep there. Right up top here, you have this bunk. This one drops down nice and easy to pull that out right there. Uh, you also see the Teddy Bear Bunk Series mattress here. And there's also a window behind there for extra lighting. All this, of course, is contained in your slide out. Right on the back, you have a window. Again, letting in all that natural light. Then right over here is where your TV would go. They did go ahead and put a block in the wall so you know exactly where to mount your TV. Connections here up top, you have lights throughout. You can see that again, LED lights there. Uh, right here is a vent. You have a couple vents in here. You have one here, one out in the kitchen, uh, you know, then in the bathroom and bedroom as well. So another window over here, which again lets in light, it allows for a nice cross breeze as well if you want to open the vent here up. Uh, then of course your third bunk is right over here, 300 pound weight limit on this one. It's nice and wide as well. So if you want to fit two smaller kids up here, you can do that. 
Then you can see how nice and deep this is up top. That is above the outside kitchen out there, so it gives you really nice deep storage space. Then what they did is they uh, have this reinforced, so this is your ladder. That way you have a built-in ladder, so it's nice and easy to climb up into the bunk. Now you can take a look right here. Again, take a look at how much space you have here. This is massive. You can fit whatever you want in there. Again, gives you the versatility. If you want your own storage system, you can put them in there, but you can fit um, you know, your, uh, all your laundry in there, everything else you want, big dirty clothes hamper, anything you want to put in there, some cutouts there down below, some cubby holes, and then some additional storage over here to the side. Back out in the main living area, you have your super slide here. Uh, you'll see on this side, you have a nice big U-shaped dinette. Again, this is the granite interior you see here. And you'll also notice that the seat is the leather, which is very nice, especially if you have younger kids. That way, if they spill any food, it is very easy to clean up. The other big advantage of the U dinette is you have lots of room for the whole family to sit around and it turns into a very large bed. So if you do have additional guests, you can just remove these posts right here. The table will then drop down, sit along the rails. You'll take the back cushions, put it on top, fill it in, and this is big enough to sleep to adults. As far as storage, you have easy access storage right underneath the seats on both sides. You can see that there, just open the doors up. Uh, that way you don't have to lift the cushions up to access whatever you want to put underneath there. Two big windows here as well to let in a lot of natural light. And then right over here, you have a tri-fold sofa. So this is something new that Passport has done. Uh, this is kind of the 2017.5 model year, the last half of the 2017 models. They've gone from a jackknife to a tri-fold sofa. This is extremely comfortable, not only to sit on, but to sleep on. So again, uh, if you want to make up a bed, you have those additional guests. You can see right back here, the tri-fold sofa actually uses the cushions of the couch itself for the bedding. That way you don't have a big bar on your back or air mattress that's going to deflate on you. This will give you a comfortable night's rest. Now again, to sit on, it's equally comfortable to sit on and you have a great view right over here to your entertainment center. Uh, so TV there, of course. Then right down here is your multimedia center, which is a radio, CD, and DVD player. It's already hooked up to the TV, so if you want to watch a movie, just go ahead and pop your DVD in right there and you're all set. And then you'll see right next to that you also have two USB plugs. You have some additional storage down below here. You can see that there, as well as storage up top. You have the nice tinted glass. But you can see that, not super deep, but it does allow you to put a couple things in there at least. Then as you come over here, you can see you have some storage there up top. And then, I like this as well. So they give you a couple shelves over here to the side, you know, maybe for hats, if it's colder, you're going camping in the fall, scarves, gloves, things like that. Then right here you have some coat hooks, just great. That way when you come in from camping, take your jacket off and you can go ahead and hang it up right there. Last thing I want to mention before we head into the uh, master bedroom and bath is this right here. Notice how your control panel is nice and high. I mean, as soon as you walk in the door, that way if you have smaller grandkids, you don't have to worry about them messing with any of the buttons. So in the master bath, right down here is your foot flush lever toilet. As you will see, you have plenty of leg room all the way around. And then over in the corner is the neo-angle shower. You'll see in here, you have a couple of shelves there. Uh, you also have a hand wand and a big skylight up top, which lets in a lot of natural light and gives you plenty of additional headroom. Right outside the shower over here is the mirrored medicine cabinet. Down below that, you have your sink top and vanity, electrical outlet here, and additional storage underneath. In the master bedroom, you have a full walk around queen bed, and you have additional storage right here underneath, which is very easy to access. You'll see on both sides of the bed, you have good wardrobe storage, big mirrored wardrobe there, hanging rod going across, additional shelf up top, and you have shelving down below with electrical outlets on either side of the bed. Also, all the way across the top here, you have tinted glass with storage behind that. Uh, underneath, you have two LED reading lights. On both sides, you have a window for a cross breeze, and if you're one that likes to watch TV, you will see you do have a place to go ahead and mount that as well as your hookups. Last thing I want to mention about the bedroom, you will notice you have actual doors here. You have a slider on one side, a door here. You don't have curtains, so you do get better privacy here in the master bedroom. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. 
Again, this is a 2017 Keystone Passport 3350BH. This one is in the granite interior. If you're interested in this unit and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com, for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.